What's up everybody? It's Josh T617 and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know how to play what I played in the video for my Waken the Demon cover. Alright, so I'm going to teach you the verse riff, which is also the intro. It starts off on the 4th fret. You're going to bar all the top 3 strings on the 6th, 5th, and 4th string. You got to make sure you always have those barred because you're going to be using notes that go back into it. I'll explain it in a minute. So it starts off with four palm mutes. Palm mute is when you take your palm in your hand and put it on the actual string. So when you pick, it isn't. It's actually. So when you put your fingers on the fourth fret, you palm mute. Now I definitely recommend alternate picking for this because down picking it would be seriously impossible because it's such a fast pace down, uh, such a fast pace uh, palm mute note. So you do it four times, then you pull off on the fifth string, fifth fret, to that four. Remember that you have your bar in all these. So when you pull off, it's going to ring out to the note on this finger. So you pull mute four times, then pull off fifth string, fifth fret, to the fourth to the fourth fret. Then you do two more palm mutes. Then you're doing the same thing, but you're pulling off from the seventh fret on the fifth string. So, so far it's then you palm mute twice and then you do the same pull off method except you're doing it on the sixth string now. But no palm mutes in between, just five to four then seven to four. So it's just like that. And then the second time you play that, right immediately after that, you play the, almost the same thing, but it changes up just a little bit at the end. It goes. Right there is where it changes. Instead of doing those two pull-offs, you're going five, seven, just hitting them. So it's. Just like that. Now the second time you play both of those riffs together, the very end changes. It's going to go, remember you have that four barred, you're going to be pulling off on the fourth string, seventh fret to the four. Then you're pulling off the fifth fret on the fourth string to the four again. So you're on the same string for both pull offs. After you pull those two off, you just go up a string and pull those off. So it's and then you add that into the riff like this. Once you play those riffs enough times to where it fits the song, it's gonna end like this. It's gonna do these, this little lick right here, and then you're going to hear it get higher. Well, what it, that's doing is it's going up two frets. It's going to the sixth fret, and you'll be pulling off from the nine. It's the same pattern. It'll be the nine and seven, though. Instead of the seven and the five pulling off to the four, you're doing nine and seven pulling off to the six. And then once you do those two, nine to four, I mean nine to six, seven to six, you go up the string and do nine to six, seven to six on those. So it's right after you finish playing the intro, you're gonna hear it right as soon as Matt Tuck says two, three, four, he's gonna hit he's just hitting an open. So it's gonna go two, three, four. Then you're gonna go and that's when the drummer, the drummer hits the bell. So it's... Two, three, four. Ding. After the drummer hits the bell and you start playing again, after the two fours, the... Ding, ding, you start playing the verse riff. And then after the verse riff is played, you're going to play, the, I guess, the uh, verse two, which is the same spot as the verse riff and it's pretty easy you're just pulling off the five to the four and again you're barring these fours again 
and you're going pull up the five to the four on the fifth string and then hit the seven on the sixth string then you just open strum on the fourth fret so it's just like that and you play that twice then you do four pump well yeah four palm mutes on the fourth fret then you do it again then you open then two so all together slowly it sounds like this and right here it changes you slide on the fourth string into the seven then hit a six so all together slowly that would be and after you play that riff twice it goes on into the pre-chorus alright the pre-chorus it would be it's just a tremolo part so I suggest now by now hopefully you've learned alternate picking because you're going to definitely need it right here Tre tremolo is where you just going on the string really fast and you could do whatever you want with your left hand that's how tremoloing works you just with the right hand you're just picking up and down really fast. you can go faster if you want and eventually it'll come in handy for when you do licks you're tremoloing but you gotta be you gotta control it if not it'll sound sloppy but if if you tremolo if you do it fast enough, you're going to be like... Just stuff like that. It comes really in handy. So, for the, the pre-chorus, it starts on the 5th fret, 5th string. And it goes like... It, I don't know the exact number of notes, but it goes just like this. And then it goes up to 7. Then the 4. So that's... Then you slide the 9, then you do 12, 11, 12, 11, then back down the same exact riff. So I'm going to try to break it down as slow as possible. It's... there you would slide and that's just after the, ver the first verse would you do the slide and then it does a palm mute and then a pinch harmonic so it would go and pinch harmonic what it is is when you pick you don't want to do a palm mute, you want to pick an actual note. I use the third fret for this one because it sounds most like the song. But when I pick, I actually use this part of my thumb right here to hit the string. And I'm trying to demonstrate that to you. When I, I'm just picking like a regular note, but I'm actually picking kind of sideways. So it goes, it makes a more of a ringing noise, kind of like a harmonic noise. When I pick a regular note, it'd be. But when I pick a harmonic, if you notice, my hand turns, so it goes. And with each guitar is different, but you can pick between the pickups in different spots, and it'll have a different noise. Like I'm gonna pick right here, and it'll go. But if you, if I keep moving and trying it, watch how it changes as I go back. And any fret, as far as I know, can do a pinch harmonic. You just got to find the sweet spot for each fret. So yeah, I usually try for this one right about more, a little bit between the halfway point of this fret and this fret, more towards this, not fret, uh, pickup, more towards this pickup. So, so. 
And hopefully that explains pinch harmonics a little more clearly because I get a lot of questions about them. And it's really hard to explain pinch harmonics over internet and typing. And that's probably the best way I can explain it. So yeah. Uh, the second time you play the pre-chorus, remember the first time you just do a sound and then the pinch harmonic. Well, this time you should just do a pick slide. So I'm going to play the pre-chorus one more time and then show you how we would flow with the pick slide. It's... Another thing about pick slides is a lot of people think that you could just take the pick and slide it anywhere you want on the, on the strings. Me, what I do is I found more effective is I actually mute the strings with this hand. And by mute, I mean I don't push down. I just put my finger on the string. So if I was to strum, it would just not make much of a noise. So pick slide sounds more effective, like it dives harder when you mute the string. So I, where if I didn't use my hand, it would be. I see how I'd have to go all the way to here just to make the dive. When I mute, I just do, go from here to here. It makes pick sliding a lot easier. Alright, so for the chorus, uh, after you do the pick slide, the, I hit the open note of the rhythm. The, just so let it flow a little better because I plan on playing the lead. Well, you slide in on the third string to the 14th fret. Then you hit a 13. Then hit the 14 on the 4th string, which is right above it. And then you hit the 14 on the 3rd. You can, you can either roll your finger to hit it, or you can use your ring finger. So it's, and then, well, I usually use my ring finger, if you want to know. And then after that, you do the 14, 13, 14, 14. Then you hit the 14 above it again. And a lot of this is the same pattern over and over, just the very last note is different. So it's just like that. 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 13, 14, 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14
Right here is where the harmony would kick in. Then it goes on to the breakdown right before the solo. Alright, for the breakdown for the solo, after you slide out that 14, you're hitting all fours. It goes. Then you do four palm mutes with an open. Just like that. So it's. Then right here it changes. Uh, in the video I played this, it went just like that, and you play that over and over, which is you're just hitting the five and the seven in the middle of that steady palm mute, which is so just throw those fives and sevens in there, just like it, just like the speed. So all together the breakdown will be Just that end part, when you start kind of fading out of a palm mute, you just start strumming the fours. Like a... Then that's where he says, trip! Alright, what you've been waiting for the whole time, the solo. Start on the 17th fret, and bend it up, and then hit the note again after it comes down. So it's... Just like that. Then you're going to hit this 14 on the same string. Then you're going to hit 17 on the first string and bend it up and kind of whammy it a little bit. Like that. So it goes. Then right here you're going to go to 17 on the first string and hammer on the 21st. And then you, after you hammer it on, you pull it off. Just like that. All in one motion. Then you're going to go to 16. And do the same thing with the 17. Just like that. But except with this one, you're picking once. And this one, you're picking the first note and then just pulling off. You're picking the pull off of this one. So you're going to. Like that. Then you're going to hit. It's kind of a little like mini sweep. You don't really have to sweep it because it's kind of slow. You're going to hit the 17 on the second. 16 on the third and slide it into the 14. So that's just like that. Alright, this part is really confusing to explain. The best way I can explain it, I'm gonna try my best, is you look at the notes I'm about to do in a scale is the 14 on the 4th, 16 on the 4th, 18 on the 4th. So on that string, just the 4th string, it's 14, 16, 18. Then on the next string, it'll be 14, 16, 18 again. So, repeats on the same string. Then on the next string, which would be the 2nd string, it's just a 15 and the 17. And it's kind of important to remember those exact notes. It starts off on the 18, on the 5th, I mean the 4th. Once you hit that, you just go up the scale three notes. Just like that. And then the next note, it all starts off with one note, and then it proceeds to three ascending notes after it. Just like that one started off with a note, then you went to ascending notes. Just like that, it went up the scale. All in order, of course. So once it hits that first note, it ascends. And the next note would be that 14 on the third string. And the ascending notes would be just like that. Be four, uh, 16, 18, then that 14. So, so far it's. 
Then the next one would be, it's basically the same pattern, just scooting up the scale one fret every time. So once it hits that, then you hit the, after you hit the start off with the 16, you're going to start with 18, because like I said, it's three singing notes. The three notes, since it's going to a different string, we this one, then this one, then this one. So at first it was, after it went 18, it went 1, 2, 3, then it hit that, it went 1, 2, 3, then it's going to hit this on the 16, and go to 1, 2, 3. So far we have... that 18 and then do 14, 16, 18. Yeah, after you hit the 15, you're gonna hit 16 and 18. 15, 17, then the 18. Then the last two notes will be 15, 17, then you're gonna bend this 19. Twice. So all together, played very slowly, that would be... And I'm going to try to play it up to speed for you. After that 19 bends, you keep your fingers right there, it would be good, because you have to actually do that. 17, 19, pull off. Then slide down to the 16. Then pull off the 17, the 16. And you're going to hit 19 on the second fret. hit an 18 on the third string. Then after that part, what I did in the video, I did a pick tap, where you use your pick. I turn it sideways a little bit, and it makes it to where you can sound really fast with taps. Well, it's just held right here on the 14. 14, and I tapped on the 17. So yeah, what I did in the video after I went, just go down a fret, which would be the 13 and the 16. Uh, the part after the pick tapping is pull-offs from 15 to 14 on the second string, and then after you hit that 14, you're gonna hit a 16 on the third. And then after that, it's gonna be pretty much the same descending pattern, but the frets are gonna change. So it's then hit the 14 and slide down to 12. Hit the 14 on the third. You're gonna slide down to 11 and hit the 13 on the third. Slide down one fret to the nine. Hit the 11 on the third. Slide down two frets. Hit the nine on the third. Then just hit the seven again. And then normally in the song, they hit an open note and dive down with a whammy bar and then pull it up as like a uh, like a harmonic not, not so much a dive bomb but it goes well in the video since this is a less known what I played in the video after I play that part the I bent the third fret on the fifth string and I did a pinch harmonic on the 5th fret, 3rd string. Just to kind of add my own touch to it. So it was... Part after that, you're going to start right here on the 9 and 5. And you're going to pull off the 9 to 5. You're going to hit the 5, I mean hit the 7 on the 2nd string. And then you're going to pull off twice again, hit the five again. So it's, then you're going to go down, 
and do the same exact pattern of style of notes but on the fourth, seventh, and the fifth. And, and the note you're going to use on the second string will be the five. So, so far, that's. And slide up to 12 and 9. And do the same thing, same exact pattern you use when down here. So, 12 and 9. Then, only for this part, you slide back down to these two, the 4 and 7 and you do you change it up just a little bit a lot of bullet likes to change riffs and solos up just a little bit at the end just so it doesn't sound so repetitive so so far we have and it goes back to this one but it changes watch closely which is instead of just going and then doing two more it's pulling off seven and then four, just like you were doing in most of the other riffs in the verse. So it's... Then you play it again, except you stop on the nine and twelve. And then you bend the twelve. So all together that's Then from there you go back into the chorus and after you play the chorus it starts the verse riff which is just the same thing you've been playing earlier uh, but the song the, with the rhythm of what I played I just hit the four, just and after I hit the five seven, I started playing the verse riff, and when it ends like this, then you hit the four, slide out, and then you hear waking the demon. Then you hit four palm mutes, but the last one's an open. So it's one, two, three, and that's how the song ends. So yeah, that was basically the Waking the Demon cover. The song is really easy. I, I'm pretty sure you've noticed it by now. Uh, it's a lot of annoying things to do. I was kind of well overdue to play it. I just kind of didn't want to do it because it's such a repetitive song. But yeah, just keep on practicing. And eventually, I remember when I started playing the verse riff, it was like, I don't know, it just annoyed me. Something about it, I just could not really play it constantly without just wanting to throw my guitar against the wall and you just get good at it eventually and then I have a video I hope y'all enjoyed the video actually you could check out the video right here and watch me play Waking the Demon and if you want to watch any of my original you can click on the three videos right here or just check the link in the description below oh and you can like my Facebook right here so yeah I hope to see any of y'all around leave a comment leave messages anything subscribe I reply to everybody so I hope to see y'all around